Hello everyone. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. Let me guide you how you can register your website on search engines such as Google, Bing and Yandex. So basically at the moment uh, I have this website called n4af.com. Basically it was just regi uh, registered yesterday and I just installed WordPress inside of it and now I'm ready to basically uh, crawl or index it into Google. Aside from that one, I have also created a separate email for it. So uh, tomorrow, if I wanted to sell this website, I can provide the email to that person too. So basically, I have this confession that basically I am simply creating a separate email for each of my websites. That is my strategy of working in the online websites. So in any case, let's go ahead and uh, start beginning registering your website on search engines. Basically, there are many methods that you can use to simply register your website on Google. But among them, there is also a plugin called Yoast SEO uh, inside WordPress that I am very familiar with and I am using that plugin. So the first step would be for you to install that plugin. You can just click on plugins, click add new and search for Yoast SEO, which I have already installed. But I need to activate this plugin. Okay, basically these are the very first steps of configuring the iOS SEO. You can just go ahead through them or you can just simply skip them that you want. So basically uh, SEO data optimization, you can just simply set all of them or you can just simply click continue. These are the simple uh, basic configurations such as uh, your website is an organization or no, it is just a personal website. You have to add logo, mention your social media profile, again, enter your personal information, which for now I'm not going to do anything at them at all. But in, but in any case, uh, once you install the Yoast SEO under the settings, um, uh, you will find there, find there the Yoast SEO. Click on the general tab and now go to the website tools. So here you can see, sorry, webmaster tools. Here you can see that there are four search engines that are mentioned here. Baidu is in China, which requires a Chinese number, so that is out of the question. But Bing, Google, and Yandex, they are totally verif uh, verifiable. So let's just go ahead and start with Google. Click on Google Search Console. It will take you to here. So here you can see that basically by default says I am already logged in with a Gmail account. It has taken me here. From here, I'm going to simply select HTML tag and now I'm going to copy this code and uh, I will paste that code here control V and now click save changes okay once it is done go ahead into, into the webmaster and click verify okay right now you can see that is now verified you can now use Google services for your search console. So that is simply easy how you can register your website on the Google search console. In any case, you uh, you have to wait for some days here or if it is not working at all, you have to manually again come here and register your website. In any case, it is also going to work. There is not any issue at all. But mostly people, they are using this method, which you can see that it is already auto verified and there is no need for me to basically go through that again. So you can see that it is really simple and easy. This is how you can register your website on Google. Okay, what about uh, the uh, Bing? So you can see that here is Bing Webmaster tool. Just click on it or you can simply search for Bing Webmaster on the Google and it's going to open the Bing Webmaster. Uh, you can uh, use a Microsoft account or you can go ahead and use the Google account that you have just created with that. So for now, click on get started. So here you can see that it's asking to sign in. As I said earlier that I am using the same Gmail for everything. So I'm going to use Google account.
okay right now you can see that basically that is done so you can either manually register your website into the microsoft bing webmaster tools from here or you can just simply import all the google search console report or data into the bing so either way is going to work totally fine i think the simplest method is to use the google search console import sections here so click on import and now click continue now log in into the, your gmail account click allow okay right now you can see that it is importing all these settings okay it is done click done so it is easy how you can simply set up here too so if you click on your profile here it's saying that uh, profile completeness you need to profile so basically it's going to uh, ask for personal information the professional information regarding to your website and other details you can just simply fill them out which are not completely necessary but if you desire you can just go ahead and do such as your first name last name country and phone number and aside from that one your professional uh, section which industry uh, your website is what is your role and uh, what is the company name yeah these are basically the simple information aside from that one so uh, for the other steps site maps uh, and other stuff you have to manually submit them here but overall if you install the yoast seo mostly the site map uh, issue will be fixed and there is not any issue at all let me show you what do i mean so just uh, simply uh, copy the domain okay you can see that basically i have visited the website but uh, at the end simply type slash type site map Part XML and now press enter. As long as you are using the Yoast SEO plugin, by default, it's going to create the uh, XML sitemap easily. However, uh, there are such cases uh, like if you are running a news website, then the Yoast SEO is not going to create the XML sitemap. There are also some other cases that you may have subdomains and other uh, cases which yet I don't know, but there are many more cases. For that, you have to uh, either uh, create your sitemap easily or you have to find plugins that can do the job of creating the sitemap. In any case, uh, your SEO can do the uh, creation of the sitemap easily. You have to simply copy and then uh, inside Google here, you can see the search console in Google. You have, you have to come here and then press them manually one by one. So you can see that this one is the overall and uh, there is the... Uh, post and then the pages you have to simply also register them there too, both inside the Google and inside the uh, Bing search engines okay one more there is the page mm, site map yeah it is done submit Uh, also, uh, if you can take a look here uh, at the moment, uh, these websites do not have any menu at all. So, when you add more menu, basically it's going to add more categories to them. Suppose, let me show you what do I mean. Uh, let's open this website called GoFast slash sitemap.xml. So you can see that the, in this website, uh, the Jetpack has created the sitemap for this site. So you can see that there is a uh, for image. Yeah. What about into zoom.com sitemap.com sitemap.xml? Sorry. So here you can see that uh, the rank map SEO has created this uh, sitemap. In any case, so here. Uh, Overall, Yoast SEO is simply going to create the sitemap for you. That is not any issue at all. So in any case, let's go ahead into registering your website into Yandex. Yandex is a Russian uh, search engine right now, which is also available in Iran too. Uh, I think it is set the default search engine. So click on Google. 
uh, now it's going to register and that is stuff that is simple not anything required click accept okay enter your side name okay uh, HTML tag no meta tag just simply copy this line and now uh, come here and paste it click save changes after that one you have to click on check let's wait until it verifies that the code has been added to your website or no okay rights haven't been verified meta tag was not found okay uh, this is an issue I don't know what so let's uh, this method is also available where you have to simply paste this one at the heading of your website and this one in the body of your website so let's just go ahead and do this one or you can just simply copy uh, these and paste it into the C panel of your website that is also an option but for now let's just go ahead and uh, use this option theme file error just simply copy this line I understand find the hair section here the header theme header find the head section as I said earlier between the header uh, okay that's opening tag and where is the closing tag yeah so for now I'm going I will going to I'm going to paste it here it will be paste and there was also the uh, body tag verification you have to copy this one too and it must be within the body so that is the opening section I think uh, if okay that's totally fine test and now click update file okay successful now click check okay there is something definitely wrong with this I don't know what but it must do the job okay let's just go ahead and download this one and upload it into the uh, or maybe not hold on I have to check yeah it is also going to work let's go ahead and upload that one into the uh, C panel of your website okay right now I have got the credentials of the C panel of this website uh, click log in so at the moment I am logged in for the next step you have to go to the file manager it is here click on it and after that one you have to go to the public HTML directory so basically this is the root directory of your website uh, the file that you downloaded this uh, HTML file that you downloaded right now or a moment earlier you have to simply upload it here uh, go to here click on the upload uh, select file and now look at the file which you just downloaded where is that I think it is this one let's go ahead and view it once nope it is not that that is an image okay where is that okay let's go ahead and download that once again I don't know where that is saved so click on that and save it on the desktop Yandex okay Yandex yeah both of them are available here click on that it is uploaded and now it is done close it and now refresh it and take a look if that is available go to the public HTML directory uh, Yandex so let's go ahead so you can see that it is uploaded so uh, go ahead and verify it once again check it once again okay it is done so basically uh, your website is now completely registered in all of these three search engines so there are also other search engines uh, but 
for now the most commonly used search engines are these three search engines so google is as commonly known as worldwide so as the bing and yandex is specifically in russia and in iran so basically uh, uh, about the baidu for that you have to uh, you must have the chinese number and an email for that which i don't have so this is basically how you can register your website on all the search engines i hope you have learned uh, i hope this article has been helpful to you this video has been helpful to you and uh, do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel and have a nice day goodbye